students namaste welcome to one more class of grade 6 subject english unit 7 and it's about reading 2 and we will do weather forecast today are you ready okay so before we move on to our class today let's have a look what one of your friend has done as a homework okay so the homework yesterday was yeah good it was number c good suppose you are the school captain how do you keep your school clean and tidy so let's see what your friend has written okay so she writes if i am the school captain i will have a cleanliness program at school good Do you know what cleanliness program is? Ah, oh, cleaning the school, keeping uh, everything in the right places, and keep the throwing all the uh, dust into dustbins. Yeah, waste paper also into the dustbin. Very good. Yeah, I will keep dustbins outside all the classrooms. Ah, so every class needs to be clean and tidy. So she thinks that she needs. uh dust bin outside every class very good there will be soaps and liquid hand wash near all the water taps and in toilets we will form a cleanliness club that will organize awareness programs to students a ah, very good response so what do you mean by awareness program uh, giving information very good So, what information do you get in cleanliness programs? Yeah, what? Very good. What are the risk of having dirty classrooms? Yeah, not keeping your hands clean, not washing properly, and anything more? Ah, yeah, plantation of flowers. Ah, so that it looks good. Wow, very good. Good, very good. all the students will contribute 5 rupees each and every month okay so i asked so how why do you need 5 rupees as contribution hmm okay so that you can make a good amount in order to buy ah maybe soaps hand washes and then Now you can also buy flowers. Ah, good. Our health teacher will help us to make the plan a success. Wow, very good. I liked the response of your friend, and yeah, you have to write similar. I I suppose all of you have got a similar kind of homework with you. So let's look at what we are going to do today. Yeah. So we are doing reading. to today and i before we begin let me ask you what is the text about a oh, weather forecast very good so what is the forecast hmm we guess okay do we guess uh, ah no we don't okay who who makes the weather forecast ah there is a department yeah oh good 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 it also uh, gives us information about what will happen tomorrow yeah uh, when we can have earthquake something like uh, yeah meteors everything good good answer good where do you find this type of text where do you see such kind of text uh, on television okay and others yeah, sometimes in newspapers very good good so what can you see in the first picture what is it uh, about ah it's about the condition of the day so uh, it's on sunday very good what's the date june 20 good and what will be the day like ah there will be sun throughout yeah there will be no rain there will be no cloud uh it will remain quite a warm day wow good good guess and about monday what's the date uh, june 21 good 
what it will be? Cloudy. Ah, you can see cloud in the sky, right? So it will be a cloudy day. Monday, good. And on Tuesday, ah, there is a possibility of rainfall. Good. Yeah, there is a possibility of rainfall on Tuesday. So what's the day? What's the date? June 22. Very good. So next one, Wednesday. Is it going to be a sunny day? No? Okay. Is it going to be a very hot day? No? Okay. Is it going to be a windy? Windy, windy. No? Okay. What can you see here? Ah, snow particles. Okay. You can see snow here. So it is going to be a snowy day. Good. Good guess. I clap for that. Okay. And what about Thursday? Ah, it's going to be... What comes? Air. Ah, so it's going to be... It starts with W. Ah, windy. Very good. Good. Good guess. You are so smart. And you can see with the fire here. So it's going to be a very, very hot Friday. Good. Very hot. And the temperature goes down below to the zero degree. What it will be? Yeah, very cold. Very good. The Saturday, uh, June 26 will be cold. June 25, that is Friday, will be very hot. So, June 24 will be windy. Very good. June 20 will be sunny. Yeah, exactly. And June 21, Monday will be cloudy. Very good. You can see cloud in the sky. And what it is going to be on June 22? Ah, oh, it's going to be rainy day. Good. So, you have the information about that, right? So, before we move on to what exercise we do, I give you some instruction, okay? So, you will have some filling up activities. You have to fill up sentences. And uh, you have to look at all these seven pictures here, the table with seven pictures and information here. And looking at these texts uh, about weather conditions of the next week, uh, you have to write down the right answer or right word or right maybe number somewhere uh, if it is necessary. You have to fill up the gaps, okay? So can you fill up the gaps uh, with the words that you know? No, okay. So you have to get the answers from the table itself. Very good. So can you uh, write down answers uh, in numbers also? Yeah, maybe if you have the date, uh, you can do that, okay? So, can you uh, write something that is in the text itself? Yeah, you have to write that. Good. Good. So, you are going to fill the gaps with the information you have got here, right? The text has got the information and with this information you have to uh, write the answers. I mean to say, uh, fill in the gaps with appropriate yeah, appropriate word or appropriate number, okay? So, are you ready? Uh, okay, let's see. Before that, let's see what kind of weathers we normally have, okay? Okay, the, the first picture uh, is about a mountain and a flower. Very good. Can you name the flower? Rhododendron and it's Red in color. Very good. Red rhododendron. And can you name the mountain as well? No? Is there someone who has visited Pokhara? Oh, you have. Okay. So can you name the mountain? 
Masa Pusre, very good. So uh, does anybody call it Fishtail Mountain? Yeah. yeah, it is very popular with the name Fishtail Mountain. Okay, because it has got the peak like the tail of the fish. Very good. So let's, so it has got a bright color, everything so bright, so it's a sunny day. Ah, let's have a look at the second one, mountain again, right? So is it a calm day? No, how can you guess that? Ah, the prayer flags are moving, good, good. So uh, the prayer flags are moving, oh, moving to our direction, right? Every uh, flag is moving to one particular direction, right? So it means wind is blowing, okay? So when wind is blowing, what do we call that day? Windy day, correct, very good, very smart. Let's have a look at the next picture. Hmm. So there is a temple. Ah, it's on the top of a hill maybe. Okay. So have you been there? Does anybody know this place? Oh, you have seen it on television. Okay, very good. So can you name it? Ah, Valesar Temple. Where is it? Chandragiri. Good. Have you been to? Ah, yeah, you have been to. Good. So uh, there is a temple, and what can you see here? What can you see here? Snow. Ah, snow here. Snow has covered the leaves of the tree, and the roof of the uh, temple. Everywhere you can see snow. So what do we call a day that ha that uh, uh, in on which uh, it snows? A snowy day. Very good. Snowy day. Very smart. Next one. Uh, what is the woman doing? She is walking. Good. And what? why is she having an umbrella with her? Because it is raining. Ah. Uh, it is raining. So the day is a rainy day. Very good. Very good. And then now look at the same again. And by this time, I already told you that you have to fill in the gaps, right? Uh, you cannot fill in the gaps with uh, something that is not in the text. Okay, good. So uh, you have to write words or number from the text itself. Very good, very good. So let's have a look at the question. So. Can we try this one? Mm. Okay. So the first one is an example. On Wednesday, it is snowy. Wednesday, you can see the snow. Okay. So similarly, on Saturday, on Saturday, what it will be? It is, is it hot? No. Okay. It's hot on Friday. Good. It's Ah, cold. Very good. On Saturday, it is cold. On Sunday, what can you see on Sunday? What it will be like? Ah, it, it is sunny. Good. And on Friday, 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 ah, there is a fire. Means heat. Oh, okay. It's, it's, on Friday, it's, it is, it is hot. Very good. Now let's look at number E. On Thursday, it is on Thursday. So the wind is blowing very fast. Very fast, right? So it is a windy day. Very good. So how do you spell that? W. I N D Y. Good. Very good. And on Monday, Monday, Monday. Okay. It is, what can you see on the sky? In the sky, you can see the cloud in the sky. So it's a 
cloudy day. Mm, it's cloudy on Monday. So it is on Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, the raindrops. Okay, so it's a rainy day. So let's have a check whether our answers are correct or not. Mm, cold, very good. Well done. Let's check the second one. Sunny, good, well done. On Friday, hot, very good. Your answer was correct. Yeah, let's look at uh, number E. Mm, windy, yeah, you are so smart. Uh, you could also spell that correctly, very good. Okay, next one. Cloudy, Monday is cloudy. And Tuesday is rainy, good. Let's have a look to another exercise, right? So this time you have weather forecast again, the same, and you have to look at the same weather forecast, and you have to write down whether the statements are true or false. If the statements are true means correct, you have to say yes. If the statements are false or they are not correct or incorrect, you have to write no, okay? So, let's have a look at the number one. Can anyone tell, tell us? It is sunny on June 23. June 23. Is it sunny? Oh, no, it's not sunny. So, it's snowy. Very good. Mm. So it's no for you. Okay, very good, good answer. It is cloudy on June 21. June 21. It's cloudy. Is it cloudy? Yes. Okay, so your answer is yes. So what's your answer for the number C? 25. June 25. June 25. It's on Friday. Friday. It's hard. Okay, so the statement is correct. So you have to write yes. Okay. It is rainy on June 24. June 24. June 24. Is it rainy? No. Okay. So uh, so what what you have to write? True? No. Okay. It's not rainy, so it's false. Do you, do you have to write false here? Can you write false? No. What you have to write? No. Very good. No, you have to write no. Good. So, number E, it is rainy on June 22. Rainy on June 22. Is it raining here? Okay, so the answer is true. June 22, is it true? Okay, true. So what do you write? T-R-E-E, true? Okay, no, okay. So you write Y-E-S, yes. Ah, number F, it is sunny on June 20. June 20 is sunny. So is it yes or no? Yes, very good. Number G, it is hot on June 26. June 26. Is it hot? No. No, no, it's not. You are correct. You are correct. I think you are correct. Yeah, we will check it later. Okay? Number H. It is sunny. Sorry, snowy on June 23. June 23, snowy. You can see the snowfall. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. It is rainy on June 21. Rainy on June 21. Uh, okay, you say yes. Why? You can see the cloud. So it might rain. So is it raining? No, it's not raining. So when it, there is no rain, but you can see the cloud, what, what do you call it? Cloudy. Very good. So it's not raining. Mm. So number J. It is windy on June 24. June 24, it's windy. 
The air blows very quick. So, the answer is yes. Okay, your answer is yes. Let's check whether your answers are correct or not. Ah, you had a no and it's no. Good. Yes. Ah, you are correct. So, check, check your answers, okay? Okay, next one. Mm, let's check. Yes, correct. Mm, good. For F, good. Yes, again. Uh, for G, what's your answer? No, very good. Why no? Uh, it's not hot in June 26. Very good. Let's check one more. What's your answer? Let's check. Ah, you are correct. Uh, what's your answer for I? No, correct. Very good. The last one, your answer is yes. Well done. Very good. So you have completed uh, your two tasks, right? You filled up in the filling gaps and you have identified whether the statements are correct or incorrect, okay? So uh, how did you do that? Yeah, did you guess? No. So how, how did you feel uh, the answers? By looking at the table. And similarly, uh, you identified whether the statement is correct or not by looking at the table itself again. Okay? So uh, you have already done the filling up task and another one. Mm, good. Identifying whether the sentence is correct or incorrect. If correct, we wrote yes. If incorrect, we wrote no. Okay. Let's have a look at exercise number C. Mm. So we have some nouns here. And you have to find out whether these nouns are related to, uh, whether they are seasons or they are related to some weather. Okay. So how many seasons do we have in Nepal? Uh, six seasons. Ah. But do you know how many seasons are there in English? So there are six? No, no, no. So there are only four seasons. There are four seasons in English and we have six seasons in Nepali. In Nepali calendar, we have six seasons and in English calendar, they have four seasons only. Okay, so this time you have to find out whether uh, the nouns we talk about are related to weather or season. Okay, so let's have a, and one is an example, number A is an example, hot, hot is a weather condition, right? If it is hot today, uh, it's not sure that uh, throughout the season, throughout a particular time frame, it will be hot, right? It may rain and it can be a little colder, right? Uh, uh, yeah, similarly, uh, what about the second one, number B? What is it? Is it rainy a weather se condition or season? Uh, it's the season, rainy season, okay. And, mm, you say it's uh, weather, okay. So you mean to say it's a season and weather itself? Okay, let, we will check it later. So why is it a, a rainy? Rainy is a season in, okay. Ah, Barsari do you mean to say? Okay, good. A rainy season, rainy season. Okay, we will uh, check whether it is a season or a weather, okay? Fall, fall. Actually, uh, fall is equal to autumn. A U T U M and autumn. So, what it, what is it? So it must be 
Ah, season. Autumn is a season, so it must be season. Snowy, snowy when we have lots of snow fall, and ah, it doesn't snow every time, so snowy must be weather. Good, good. Winter. Ah, winter can be relatively hotter in the uh, equatorial zone, and it can be very cold, cold in the polar zones, right? Uh, away from the equator. Okay? So it's a season. Ah, good, good. Windy, 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 windy. Wind is blowing very quickly. So it's a weather. Good, good. Summer? Summer? Hmm. You say it, it is a... Uh, long time frame so it must be season and what about sunny sunny okay weather ah good cold weather spring spring ah it's a season good so uh, do you know uh, what happens in the spring ah the winter days go out winter days go so you have relatively warmer time uh, you have uh, uh, new leaves in the trees you have flowers you have got uh, yeah, chirping of the birds singing of the birds what more yeah you can go to swimming everything everything looks beautiful and calm and so so entertaining right you can enjoy swimming, you can enjoy, uh, yeah, mm. uh, you can enjoy sun, you can enjoy the shed, everything, okay? So, spring is a season. Let's check whether your answers are correct or not. Let's have a look at the second one. The first one is already done, has been done by the writer himself or herself, okay? So, the second one is... Let's check what it is. Weather. And what was your answer? Ah, weather. Okay, good. And you said it must be season. Ah, in Nepali calendar, according to Nepali calendar, we have Barsaritu. Uh, so you were confused with that. Mm. By next time, don't get confused with it. Okay? Good. Mm. So are you clear about that? Hmm. So rainy is not a season it is a weather condition very good and fall what did you say ah season let's check what it is ah good ah good well done your answer is correct next one snowy you said it is season oh, okay no no it's you said it it is weather winter you said it must be Season, mm -hmm. so it is season. Windy, windy. Okay, you said uh, weather, so it's weather. Good. Summer, mm -hmm. summer is a season. Let's check. Ah, oh, it's a season. Sunny, mm -hmm. uh, weather. So let's check. It's weather. Cold? Hmm. Weather. Good. Spring? It's a season. And it's a beautiful season. Good. So, we did all the activities for today. So, there is something for you to do tomorrow. Okay? This is the time for your homework. You have your homework now. Okay? So, your homework is to Listen to the English news on Radio Nepal this evening. Do you listen to radio? Yeah, you do. Good. So even if you don't listen to uh, this evening, you have to listen to the Radio Nepal. Okay? Radio Nepal. And then uh, what time do you have to listen to? You don't know? Okay. Uh, English news is, uh, is at 8 o'clock o'clock in the evening and in the morning. 
8 a.m. in the morning or 8 a.m. in the evening. You'll have uh, weather reports, okay? So in the evening, it, uh, they will report about what it was throughout the day, right? In the morning, uh, you will get chance to listen to the prediction about the day, right? So, so better you listen in the morning, right? Tomorrow morning, and then write in your notebook and tell it to the class what uh, the expected uh, weather condition of the day will be, okay? So, yeah, you heard an example of your friend today. So tomorrow we will read the response of another friend. So don't forget to do your homework, okay? So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for your active participation in the class and wish to see you in the next class. Thank you very much. Namaste. Bye-bye.